Well, what we see are seven jets coming out of this object. Actually, more than seven, after it passed close to the sun on October 29th. Some of these jets are pointed toward the sun, and they extend more than a million kilometers through the solar wind. We know the density and speed of that solar wind. So we can calculate that for a natural comet with its usual outflow from pockets of ice. These jets are carrying a huge amount of mass, about 5 billion tons. To release that much material from ice, the surface area would need to match an object at least 20 kilometers wide, much larger than the original estimate. If it's a natural comet, that would mean it's broken apart into many pieces, each one exposing new surfaces to vaporize enough material. But if it's a technological object, the jets could be thrusters. Thrusters can reach much higher speeds, meaning you don't need nearly as much mass. The fuel could be just a small fraction of the spacecraft itself. The coming weeks will be decisive. Either we see a fragmented object breaking apart under the sun's tidal forces, or we see something that holds together with very high-speed jets streaming from it. If it's the latter, we'll have to seriously consider a technological origin. We're expecting data from hundreds of observatories around Earth, plus Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope. By mid-December, when it comes closest to Earth, on December 19th, we should finally know the nature of this object. If it's natural and disintegrating, we'll see the fragments and know what it's made of. But if it stays intact and we measure high-speed jets and mass flow, then we'll know we've found something truly unusual. By the holidays, we should have our answer. Whatever it turns out to be, a blind date with a rock or something far more exciting, either way, we'll learn something new about our universe.